In this video, I'll walk you through how to look at a pedigree and understand what it's showing you. A pedigree is like a family tree in that it shows you relationships between family members. We can use a pedigree to trace a trait through generations. Generally, the trait in question is a genetic disorder like hemophilia or sickle cell anemia, but you can use pedigrees to trace any trait and determine how it's inherited. So what are we looking at here? In these charts, males are represented with squares and females are represented with circles. A person of unknown sex is represented as a diamond. Here, we can see two biological parents connected by a mating line. From their mating line, you see a line of descent that leads to a sibship line. The sibship line connects all of these parents' offspring. The children of these parents are listed in order of their birth from left to right. So these parents had three children, a son followed by two daughters. Each generation is noted by a Roman numeral. You can see generation one here and generation two here. And each generation has individuals labeled with an Arabic number. So we have generation two, individual two, who in this pedigree is female. If you want to note that a person in the pedigree is deceased, you'll just draw this kind of diagonal line through them to indicate that. Now tracing traits through a pedigree requires you to know which individuals have the trait and which individuals do not. A shaded circle or square is a person who has the trait. We'll call this individual affected. And an unshaded circle or square indicates an unaffected individual. So if we look at this pedigree, we can see that the trait we're tracing appears in the mother and in her son but the father and the two daughters are unaffected, meaning they don't have the trait of interest. Now, when a person mates with someone outside the family, you connect the pair by a mating line, like this. So this female mates with a male outside the family and has two sons. These sons are in generation three. Let's take a look at a larger pedigree and talk through what we're seeing. Here we see generation one. This male and female produce first a son, as you can see here, and then a daughter, as you can see here. This son mates with an unrelated female, producing three children, two daughters and one son. Now what we see here is that this female from generation two mates with an unrelated male, and they also have three children, a daughter, then a son, then another daughter. Now this pedigree is showing the movement of sickle cell anemia. So we can see that just these two siblings have the disease, while the other members of the family do not. So that's what you need to know to read a pedigree. If you want to dig deeper, see my videos about how to trace autosomal or sex-linked traits using a pedigree.